G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we will learn how to make a poncho. This poncho can be made in various lengths, it is very easy to adjust. It is also easy to adjust the length of the collar that we have on the poncho. You can also make it without the collar and just have it as the plain poncho. It does have a drawstring so it is very easy to adjust and very simple st stitches are used, we only use the double crochet and an increase and also the chain stitch. So let's get started on the lesson. In today's lesson I'm going to be using Red Heart Super Saver and I'm going to be using a 9mm hook. Now normally you use a 5.5 so you want to use a hook that is a lot bigger than what you normally use because we want it nice and loose. If you're going to use double knit or a ply yarn you can use that with about a six or a six and a half hook. That will give you the extra extra um, sizes that you need for your hook. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Rachel for our demonstration. And we're going to make a double crochet foundation row. Or you can make a chain and then you can double crochet into the chain. So I can show you that in a minute, but first of all I'm just going to show you how long we need to make it. You're going to make your chain or your double crochet foundation row so that it sits nice and loose on you. Rachel is smaller than me so this looks a little bit big on her. And I've just laid it at the back, it's not very tight. And also you want to make sure this goes over your head, otherwise you won't be able to get your poncho on. So once you have your measurements, then we're going to join. But in the next clip I will show you how to do the double crochet foundation stitch, or also how to work the chain and then work your double crochet. So stay tuned, and I'll be back in a second. If you want to use the chain method, you are going to make your chain and make it as long as what I just showed you before in the video. You want it sitting around your neck nice and loose and it also has to be able to go over your head otherwise you know you won't be able to wear your poncho will you? So let's just pretend that this chain is long enough. So once you get to the length that you need your chain you're going to chain three And then we are going to double crochet into the fourth chain of the hook, from the hook, sorry. One, two, three, and four. So you're going to work your double crochet. Now you could also join this into a circle and then double crochet around, but sometimes I find that I twist my chain and it's not until I get right to the end. I've done all my stitches. I realise I've twisted it and I have to pull all the stitches back out. So basically just double crochet in across. In every chain. I prefer the foundation double crochet method. But it does take a little bit of practice to get the hang of. So that's why I'm showing that you can use this method also. So you're going to work all the way until you get to the end of your chain. So you've got two more to go. That's one. And the last one, you're going to work a double crochet as normal. And then we're going to join our work. So yours is going to be a lot longer than mine. I've just made a little section just to show you what to do. So yours is going to be big enough to go around your shoulders. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the other end. And we're going to join. So you're making sure it's not twisted. We're going to join into the top of the chain here. So 
so not the top of the first double crochet, the chain that's here. We're going to try and pick up two loops, so grabbing the front loop and the back loop. Then we're going to make a slip stitch, so pulling through, making a slip stitch. And then when we get a few rows on, we can actually use our tail and sew that together. And it's joined. And no one knows that you didn't use the other method that always ends up with me, ends up being twisted. So, haha. -ha. Once it's finished, you won't even know. So that's that method. If you want to use the foundation double crochet row, I'm going to show you how to do that now. Once you have your slip knot, you're going to make a chain. So you're going to do, that's one, two, three, and four. You can also do it with three, but the fourth one is the chain. And the three is the double crochet. So we're going to yarn over and double crochet into the first stitch. And what we do is we work into the side of our double crochet. So just here, there is a stitch. You're going to put your hook in there and you're going to pick up those two loops. Of course it would be easy with a crochet hook. I'm just trying to pick them up to show you. There we go. So you're going to yarn over and pick up those two loops there. So grab that one. When you're practicing it is a little bit fiddly but once you get the hang of it it's quite easy. So you've got two loops. You're going to pull up a loop and we work our chain stitch first. So we chain one I'm just holding these two stitches out of the way. And now we complete our double crochet. So it's yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And the chain stitch that was created here is where we go back into. So it's yarning over, going into that one, and also the back loop. So you've got the two loops on the hook. You're going to pull through. You're going to make your chain, then you're going to go through two and through two. And as you go along, it's going to be a lot easier. You're actually going to see the little loop there. So here it is, here, and the other one's behind here. If you can't remember where it is, I'll give you a little tip. So you do your bit into there. You yarn over and pull up a loop. You make your chain. Grab hold of the chain where you just made it. Complete double crochet. When you come back, you know the whole the bit that you're holding, this stitch here, is where you need to go into. So yarning over. So I'm holding here so I know I've got to go into there. So it's there. And as you go along, you may not even need to hold it anymore because you'll know what it looks like. So we did our chain one. We're going to hold that chain one. Complete our double crochet. Yarn over. Go into the stitch that we're holding. Oh, sorry, that didn't work properly. Go into the stitch there and the one at the back. Because you want this loop here to come out in between those two stitches. See how there's a stitch there and a stitch here, a V? This one on the hook needs to come out in between those two. If it doesn't, you need to just pull that out and start again. So I'm going to whiz along, put a few more stitches on, and then we're going to basically join it like we did the other version. OK, 
Okay, so once you have your amount of stitches that you need, you're going to have a lot more than this, of course, and we're going to join it. So we're going to make sure it's not twisted, and fold it over, or bring it around like that, and then we're going to join to the first stitch. So at the top of the stitch here, we're going to go into there and join with a slip stitch. If that's really loose, just sort of give it a tug and tighten it up. And then this little bit here is going to be sewn onto here. And that will close that gap up. Because watch. You're going to sew that to there. And it's closed up and no one will know. So after you've got this section done, then it's on to the next section of our poncho. So as you can see here, oops, I have a lot more because this is how big it's going to be. So of course you'll have that too. So I'm just going to join this section, making sure it's not twisted. So I need to join at the top here, and of course this is a lot looser because we've used our bigger hook. I kind of feel a bit clumsy with a big hook too sometimes, it's a bit harder to control your stitches. So join that with a slip stitch, and this little tail here is going to get sewn to there. So you won't even notice that you've joined it. So you can do that now or you can do it at the end. It's up to you. So now we're going to work a chain three. So one, two, three. Yarn over. And we're going to go into the next stitch, which is there. I just need to zoom out a bit because I'm too close. So yarning over, going into your next stitch. Yarning over, going into your next stitch. So we're basically just working double crochet in every stitch all the way around until we get back to the beginning here. So I'll meet up, meet up with you when we get to that section. So when we come around we've got our last stitch here. And just so, make sure it hasn't twisted on that section there. I think we're going to need to sew that together just so we know where we are up to. So mine isn't twisted, so just double check that. Then we're going to join into the third chain. So here's our chain three at the beginning. One, two, three. Grabbing the front loop and the back loop, just join with a slip stitch. So let's just sew in that end. <coughs> Excuse me. So where it's at the bottom there, we're just going to get the bottom corner. That's really hard to see, isn't it? two bottom corners there and we're just joining them together just sewing over a few stitches and then just weave your end in and out of your stitches There we go. I just need to cut, cut that little piece off there and it's joined. So when you do your slip stitch make sure it's nice and tight. Don't want any big gaps left. 
So now we need to chain three. And then we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. We're going to repeat the last round that we just did. So it's double crocheting around, joining with a slip stitch, until you have the length of the collar that you would like, or the cowl section of the poncho that you would like. And then we'll start on the next section. I have completed nine rows of double crochet. And of course, depending on how big you want the collar section on your poncho, that's how many rows you're going to make. And it is probably about... about 10 inches wide. That's probably about 20 centimetres, I would say. And I mean, you could use this just as a cow, just like that, couldn't you? A neck warmer, just like that. But if you want to continue on and make a poncho, stay tuned and I will show you the next step. So for the next row, this is an increased row. So we're going to chain three. And that's counted as the first double crochet. In the next stitch, we are going to work an increase. So that's two double crochets into the same space. So there's my first one going in the same and there's my second one. So this is an increase row. So we're, whenever I am referring to the increase row this is what we will be going to be doing. So it's one by itself then two into the same stitch, one by itself in the, in the next stitch and then increase in the next, so we're going to do two into the next one. So we've got one coming out, we're going to work another one into there. One into the next. Two into the next one. So you're going to alternate between Increasing, you've got to increase there, one by itself, increase, and you're going to repeat that all the way around. So the next one is going to be one by itself because we just did an increase. And then the next one will be an increase. So you're going to repeat this all the way around until you get back to the other end. So as I'm coming around, here's the beginning of the row. I've got an increase, one by itself, an increase in that one, and then one by itself. But the next one is one by itself, so it should have been an increase if it was continuous round. So if you're lucky and you end on an increase, then you're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the first chain three. If you're like me and haven't finished on an increase, because this is going to be an increase there and that's going to be a single one. What you can do is work a decrease over the next two stitches. So you're still working one into here for the increase for the second stitch of the increase. So we're working in that same stitch. But instead of finishing off the stitch there, keep your two loops on your hook, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through all three stitches and then join to the beginning chain three. And what that does is make it so there's not an extra stitch and also if we skipped the last one there would have been a big hole so it hasn't done that either. You're not going to notice that it's like that because this is the first row and your neck or your collar part is going to be hanging down so you're not going to notice that it's just one stitch out. So for the next two rows we're going to work just one double crochet in each stitch. So we've done our chain three going into the next stitch working a double crochet 
and work one double crochet all the way around until we get back to the beginning. We're going to work two rows of just one double crochet in each stitch. So I won't film the next row because it's exactly the same as this one. I've just finished my two rounds of one double crochet in each double crochet and I've just put it back on to Rachel so you can see how it's looking. So this top section is actually the neck bit, the bit that's going to be the collar. But I've put it on like this because what we will be doing in the video is making a drawstring for our poncho. If yours is tight enough you may not need to use one. But mine is a little big as you can see it's sitting down like this so I am going to put a drawstring in mine. This is just a temporary one. So what we're going to do when we draw the string tight it's going to sit up better around the neck. So I've just put the collar section up there because it's going to be sort of sitting down like that. So I'm just going to flip that up so you can see. So what you need to do is keep increasing until it's coming off your shoulder. Because if we don't do any more increases now, this is probably going to be like a straight jacket. And you won't be able to move your arms. They're going to be straight down and you won't be able to move. So I've just done my two rows of one single crochet in each. Then I'm going to repeat that increase row again. So that was one double crochet in one stitch and then two in the next. So you're going to basically repeat the last three rows that we did. Because it was an increase row here. The next row was one in each stitch, the next row was one in each stitch. Now if you're making this for a larger size, Rachel is quite small. She's an Australian size 8. I'm not sure what that is in US, but a size 6 is our smallest that we would have here. That's really petite. So she's a size 8 and then myself, I'm a size 10. So if you needed this, say, to be a 16 or bigger, in Australia, I'm not sure what that is in America. You will need to add another set of increases after the one we're about to do now. So just sort of, as you're going along, try it on. If you find you need to do more increase, of course, add them in. So for a small one, you're probably only going to need to do the two rows of the increase. So it's the one that we did three rows back and also the next row. If you need a larger size, you might have to add another increase row in. But your increase row is only every three rows, remember, because in between those, we've got two rows of just one double crochet in each stitch. And then after you finish your increasing, we'll, we will do one in each stitch for the remainder of the project. <laughs> Oops. There's a good blooper for you. So if you need to add another increase row, I'm just going to give you a quick reminder. You're going to chain up three and you're going to work two double crochets in the next stitch. That's one and that's two. It's going to be one double crochet in the next and then two in the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. So every second stitch is an increase, and the other, every other stitch is just one into the double crochet. So you're going to do that all the way around and join, and then you're going to work two rows of just one double crochet. If you need to make it for a larger size, you will add another row of increase. Or if you don't, you would just continue on with one double crochet in each stitch. 
and then you're basically going to keep going until it's, the poncho is the length that you want. So I'll meet you at the end when I have my poncho finished. So I have added all the rows that I want to add. I don't want my poncho very long. I just wanted it to cover my shoulders and it, it basically comes to my elbows once I've got it on. So I've put in a temporary drawstring. That's just a piece of or odd yarn that I had laying around. Just to show you how it draws in at the neck. So I'll just lift the neck up so you can see what it's like underneath. So that's all I've done. I've just put in the drawstring. And what I did is I th thread the drawstring through the row that is before the increases. But I will show you how to do that in a minute. Don't panic. Because you can't really tell when it's like that. So once you've got yours the length that you need, it's time to start the drawstring. So I've just laid my poncho out flat, just so you can see what it looks like. Let's see if we can get a better view. So as you can see, it um it increases quite a bit there, and then this section up here is the neck. So we're going to put in the drawstring here, and so what I have done is this section here is all the neck from the red line up, and then from there down is the poncho section. And what I've done is, I'm just going to spin it around because it's easy to see the stitches this way. I'm going to thread it through. This is the first increase row. See how there's two stitches coming out of the one there? Then you've got the one by itself and then you've got the two increases here. Just there. You're going to thread the yarn. We're going to thread our, sorry, our tie, our Oh, I've gone blank. What do you call it? Drawstring. Thank you. Through this row here. So this is the last row of just one double crochet in each. So this is where we started up here. Then we come down and go to there. So I'll show you how to make the drawstring and that's where you're going to thread it. So I actually did nine rows. So that's in number nine before I started my increase. So my ninth row is where I'm putting my drawstring. So stay tuned and we'll get started on the drawstring. For the drawstring you can use an I-cord. I've got a video on an I-cord. You can, you could just use a chain, just make a really big long chain. But I think that might get knotted up pretty easy. You don't want to make it too thin because the knots, if you want to undo the knot, it's going to be harder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a chain as long as I want my drawstring. And then I'm going to single crochet back across. Now I'll just show you a small sample just how you could do this. You could use half double crochet and you could use double crochet if you liked as well, depending on how big the gaps are in your poncho that you need to thread through. My cords do take a bit longer, or well, for me they do because I'm not very quick at them, but they do look pretty cool. So you would make your chain as long as you want it. For a single crochet, we're going to go into the next, uh, to the second chain. So we don't count the one on our hook. This is number one, and that's number two. And we would just single crochet. So doing a single crochet, and we would go all the way across until we get to the end of our chain. Or if you wanted to do a half double crochet. You would yarn over, go into the second chain from the hook. So this is not counted. First one is here and the second one is there. So it's yarning over, going into the stitch. Yarning over, pull up a loop. And yarning over, pull through all loops. If you want to do a double crochet, I don't really need to show you how to do the stitch because we just did the whole project with that. But I'll just show you what to do if you wanted to use it for your drawstring. I'm just going to add those chains back in. And what you do is you go into the fourth chain from the hook. So don't count that one on the hook. One, two, three and four. And that first 
amount of chains that we just skipped counts as our first stitch here and then there's our second one. So you continue across you could even use ribbon for this you could use a lot of different items that you might like have laying around the house so after you've done your drawstring I will show you how to thread it in if you need some help doing that so I'll see you in a minute well actually probably more like 20 <laughs> and we'll finish off our drawstring so I'll be back in the next clip showing you how to thread it through the poncho Another thing you could try is using two strands of yarn and then just making a chain. So that's what I'm going to try actually, see what works out. So you would just chain as normal. I'm using the big hook that I use to make my poncho. And that will give you a nice thick chunky chain. So now it's time to thread our drawstring. Now I'm just leaving that red yarn there so it's a guide. So I know that here's my increase here and here so that is the row I need to thread it through now I'm going to skip three holes and then go into the next one can you even see what I'm doing there we go so I've got in there one two three go into the next one. You might have to adjust this. This might, might take some mucking around. Actually that looks too many. I'm going to skip two holes. One, two. That's better. So you're going to do that and you're going to do it all the way around until you get back to here. So I've just gathered the neck how it's going to sit on me and then I've just tied the bow. I haven't actually finished off as you can see. Just making sure it was long enough. So then I'm going to cut that yarn off. then finish off the end there and then that's pretty much it so I'm just going to tidy all the ends up and we'll come back and see what we've got thank you for watching my video I hope you did enjoy it I really enjoyed making this project and I will be wearing this when the cooler months come along don't forget to share your creation on our Facebook page or Ravelry page or Google Plus and if you don't have any of those you can also email me your creation and my email address will be in the description box below the video. So don't forget to subscribe as there's always new videos coming along. Please rate the video if you liked it and don't forget to share video with your friends. So till next time, happy crochet.